Here we are. The challenge of Ares awaits inside. What do you think, Hercules? That boulder too big for you? What? That overgrown pebble? Nothing to it. I must go alone. Right. Then I'll wait for you here. Watch yourself in there.
Be as strong as the stones that surround us. My boon to you. Thank you, Lord Ares. One more thing. The one-time black-tongued witch who now sits in the ship must be protected. Without her, you will have no hope of success. What do you mean? I take it you passed Ares' test. If I hadn't, I would have never left the cavern. Ah, Ares. 
something different about you. You look healthier, stronger. What happened in there? Ares gave me his boon. A warrior's health and hardiness. Now that's a boon that should prove useful in the journey ahead. Athena's five virtues be with you. Row us out to the ship, Nestus. Of course, sir. Jason! Your uncle had a chart sent down. What do you think, Argos? Look accurate? It looks ancient, is what it looks. If we follow it, we'll be going further west than anyone's ever sailed before. Never mind the chart. I know the way. As you say, Jason, let me sail her for you. I know this ship better than anyone. Need you have asked, Argos? There's no one else I'd rather have steering this vessel. Thank you, my king. One more thing. It's only right that you be forever remembered with your masterpiece. So let it bear your name. I hereby name this ship the Argo. Long may she sail the seas. Jason, you do me too much honor. You've earned it, Argos. Thank you, Jason. All right. Then I suppose we're ready to sail. But go have a look at what that woman has done to her quarters. She's done some strange things to her room. It would give me peace of mind if you went down there. I'll go look in on Medea. Then we'll set sail.
finished the runes of warding. So I see. They are attuned to you, Jason. Only you can remove them. As long as they remain active, neither I nor my powers can leave this room. However, I can still prove harmful to anything inside these walls. How did you come to be a Black Tongue? My father was King Aedes of Colchis. He had no time for daughters, so I was often left to myself. One day, when I was twelve, my father decided he would marry me to a neighboring king. My suitor was nearly sixty. On our wedding night, I murdered him when he came to my bed. Then I ran. For years, I lived alone, but I vowed never again to be powerless. The Black Tongues found me, and at the time, what they offered was intoxicating. Power can be that way. Oh, eventually I realized there was a price to all things. I had thought I was gaining power, but I was being made a thrall. I was that 12-year-old girl all over again. But this time, it was a titan slipping into my bed. It comes and goes in waves. Perhaps we could speak more later. Of course. I'd like to know more about the Black Tongues. Such as? Tell me about how the group is organized. The Black Tongues are ruled by the secretive Council of Ravens, each of whom is a formidable sorcerer. The exact number of Ravens is unknown. They decide the actions of the group and communicate those orders to their subordinates. The lower ranks remain ever ready should a mission be given to them. The Black Tongues seek their recruits from the farthest corners of the world, promising paradise in Tartarus. Their agents live in secrecy, and they can strike anywhere at a moment's notice. What motivates the Black Tongues? What do they believe in? They worship the Titaness Hecate, the dark witch goddess of sorcery and deceit. They refuse to acknowledge the supremacy of the Olympian gods and seek to overthrow them. Through rituals of pain and sacrifice, her followers yield their very spirits to Hecate in exchange for sorceress powers. They believe that one day Hecate will gain supremacy over both the living world and the underworld. Until then, they obey orders fanatically, believing that they will find a paradise in Tartarus should they die. The Black Tongues wield strange sorcery. You're proof of that. What are they capable of? Hecate's dark powers are formidable. They are nearly all destructive in nature. The Black Tongues use tattoos, blood magic, and rune glyphs to channel Hecate's power. Advanced assassins can even summon monstrous creatures, like the one you saw in the crypt. However, this requires a sacrifice of blood. And so this power is reserved for only the most urgent of missions. I hope you're comfortable here. Let me know if you need anything. I will.
So, you see what that woman did down there? It's all right, Argos. It's for our protection. It's your ship. Set an eastern course. I'll tell you when we need to adjust. But your uncle's chart indicates Delphi lies to the west. East, Argos. Delphi lies to the east. I know it. As you say, Jason. The time has come. We make for Delphi, land of Apollo's oracle. To see. No warden has ever fallen in battle on Delphi soil. Once we set sail, that protection will leave you. You may never again know the grace of Zeus. If that's the price to bring back Alcimane, then I will pay it. I understand. Well, Jason, this is how legends often start. Aboard a ship, heading out to sea. You should have brought a poet. How quickly the prophecy has come to fruition. Yes, Master Pelias. But what of your nephew? What if the Oracle shows him away? Let him search. Don't you see? He's left the island and taken that traitorous witch Medea with him. We could not have dreamed for better circumstance. Master Pelias, you wish to speak with me? Captain Idas, you have retired, I hear. I am guiding my successor. When he is fit to assume command, I plan to step down. Yes. The Orcus will miss your leadership, but there is one task more that she must ask of you. Despite your investigation, I still wonder if some of our own people didn't aid the assassin. Impossible. I pray that you're right. Nonetheless, redeploy all existing members of the Guard to the Southern Plains. We will establish a new and trustworthy force to secure the palace. Sir, my men are loyal. I did not ask for your opinion, Captain. The safety of Yolkas is my duty now. That is all. Your bidding, Master. Go, Skiav. Follow Jason to Delphi. Let us hear what the Oracle tells our young king. It will be as you say. <laughs>